Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. Uh, it has been a, a testing morning doing the live broadcasts. Uh, there are some gremlins in the works, so if throughout this broadcast you do experience any dropouts in the video, please do just refresh your screen. But I'm very excited to bring you a new video uh, from a company called Cello. Now, you might know them better for their very, very uh, cost-effective and, and very attainable uh, television sets. Uh, this is one of their computer monitors and it's their model number W2402S. It's an LED monitor, uh, 24 inches in size, so 24 inches diagonal, widescreen of course, uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's got a really impressive 3000 to 1 contrast ratio five milliseconds response time on this as well so it's although it's not a gaming monitor you could game on this quite easily so that five milliseconds response time very very respectable it's also got flicker free technology low blue light mode as well which is important now my eyes aren't the best i wear glasses i look at a monitor for a good proportion of my day and suffering eye fatigue at the end of the day through looking at a monitor is not much fun. So uh, Lou, uh, sorry, low blue light mode is, is extremely important. Uh, round the back, I'm not going to be able to show you, uh, but round the back, the little bit limited on inputs and outputs. The inputs are a VGA D sub, so an older style connection, and also an HDMI input, which is how I've got this connected to my uh, MacBook Pro at the moment. Uh, the stand is a nice sturdy stand, uh, but because it's uh, an elegant design, it's one of these thin sort of metal stands, as you can see here, it does anchor the monitor down, nice and weighty, but there's no rotation on this. If you want to rotate the monitor, you've got to rotate everything. You've got to rotate the whole stand. There's no height adjustment, but there is tilt adjustments. You can tilt this back or into a more sort of upright position, which is what you're going to use it in most of the time anyway. Nice thin bezel, really like the thin bezel. Very, very impressed with that indeed. Uh, cello branding on the front, and then we've got the menu system and the power button just on this edge here on the underside. And if we push the menu button, you'll see the menu come up. You can cycle through uh, brightness settings where you've got brightness, contrast, eco mode, uh, OCR and OD. We've also got signal source, uh, mute volume, low blue ray, which is the low blue light mode. Uh, we've also got reset functions, uh, uh, on-screen display, and color temperature, aspect ratio, horizontal position, vertical position, etc. And then you can push the A button just to get rid of the menu system. So a nicely uh, set up uh, sort of menu system there for controlling all aspects of the image that you're going to see uh, on the monitor. Uh, now, I'm going to show you some images some photos that I personally took so let's just uh, move across to this screen uh, these are actual photos that, that, that I took myself I know what I saw with the naked eye I know what I'm expecting to see on the monitor I've currently got the brightness set quite low as well around about 14 percent so this does go very bright this monitor but let's have a look at this one the colors on this are superb this is a, a row of Ferraris of course at a car show and this is what I remember seeing, these really nice vivid colours. These were beautifully uh, kept and beautifully restored cars. All of the tonal quality, the reflections are sitting there, really nice amount of detail. This is awesome. Very, very good detail for a 1080p monitor and the tonal quality exactly what I would expect to see. Let's take a look at this one. This is a, an older photo here as well. Uh, this is one of the cars I tested uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, Lexus and and again this is quite difficult to to judge from you seeing it but the differentiation between the foreground and the background quite difficult to see in the photo but this particular monitor looks really good love it quite muted colors but again very respectable performance and then this is a photo I took more recently look at it I love this photo uh, this is a reflection of somebody walking past a mirror uh, one of the boot fairs that we have here in the UK and it's a really nice photo because we've got a nice amount of green and then we've got the sky reflected in the mirror and again the quality of that reflection and all of the little details coming out in the clouds really extremely impressive so good detail 
good quality, and I think that's down to the contrast ratio as well. A really nice VA panel, this one. As I say before, 24 inches in size, so a nice compact monitor, quite easy to accommodate on your desk, and I think just a good overall performer. And I think what Cello do right with their monitors is that they bring them in at really good price points, but without really taking away too much. So you're still gonna get the quality there, but they're very, very affordable. And I've left a link to where you can pick this up down in the video description area. There's also a link to a PDF document which gives you all of the details and specifications of this particular panel. Uh, well worth checking out. I wanna thank Cello for making this particular uh, video possible. Do check out the rest of their range as well. And if you're in the market for an affordable but really great performing monitor, this is well worth considering. Should be somewhere there on your shopping list to, to check out. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit the like button, share a link to it, of course, on your favorite social media. And I'll see you in another video very soon. It really is a good monitor. Absolutely love it. Very thin as well. Nice thin panel. Good job, Cello.